Red Bull and all to applaud the good guys on the Final comic for the final round. Y'all show you love from Columbus, Ohio, 17 years old. Give it up for Matt Rice. some chicken tenders give it up for justin bieber oh you're 17 still mm -hmm. okay so you've been doing comedy how long about two years when you were 15 mm -hmm. you've been doing clubs since you were 15 yeah really mm -hmm. but what you sneak sneak in or, or what well sometimes they let me in uh some people are just nice enough to give me a chance some people like uh the improv and the comedy store in hollywood to make me like wait outside and then call me up on stage. And right when it's time to go up. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Wow, 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 wow. That sounds like face on love story. <laughs> exactly. Him, him and Paulie Shore used to, used to do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Comedy store. Wow, man. So, what made you do comedy at 15? Oh, uh, yeah. I discovered who Dane Cook and Dave Chappelle were. Mm. And that kind of inspired me. And also, it was like class clown and stuff like really? that. Really? Yeah. So, you're in high school now? I graduated early, but yeah. Oh, really? You graduated early? Okay. Very good. Very good. Just a normal white kid who grew up to be a black teenager. That's it. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Cause yeah, both my parents are white, but we're Eminem white, not Mitt Romney white. <laughs> From them streets. <laughs> it's a cul-de-sac, but like, Gated community, had a half black name, where you guys get it, right? Because I come from a really small town, like, I think my high school has a total of like 400 students in it. It's surrounded by cornfields in Ohio, so oh. to be in this big city is huge. Thing. So Columbus is not where, where you're from, though? No, it's a, I actually, I'm actually from about an hour west of it in a really small town. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So is comedy going to be what you do? So, I mean, I've been doing it for two years, things are looking pretty good from the start, so we'll see where it takes me. Right on, man, right on. So, what made you do this event this year? I heard a lot of great things from, like, all the big names have done it. DC, obviously, um, DL, actually, I spoke to him about it, he said it's a great competition. Yeah. I like, I've got to try to get in. Right on, man, that's good, that's, that's good. Having a good time, man? Good, good. I'm not going to mess with you, don't worry. Last thing I want is for the end of my set to go like that scene from Boys in the Hood. <laughs> I've seen the movie. I don't want to be walking off stage like, all right, thank you guys. That's my time. Enjoy the rest of your show. Ricky! <laughs> oh, okay. The white dude's not really laughing. Can you guys explain to him real quick? Like, they're just kind of looking at me like, Boys in the Hood? What is that, a movie about uncircumcised penises? I don't get it, what? <laughs> Somebody needs a black friend. <laughs> so if you had a crystal ball, man, you could see into the future, mm -hmm. 18, where will you be and what will you be doing? In a year from now? Yeah. Hopefully I'd like to have my own show by now. Mm. Maybe, um... Maybe probably not a headliner yet, but a traveling feature with maybe Finesse or Tommy or something like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. <laughs> that's good, man. That's good. That, that's very good. One more time. Head right. Get him in the room. That's incredible, isn't it? Good. Hey, 17 years old. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, man. All right. 